Oh, very good. Kyle's eating, so he can't do his normal screaming and yelling. Folks, it's <laughs> Saturday night. And I will do anything for all. I knew I should have had him muted. <laughs> Folks, it's <laughs> Thursday night. Welcome aboard Murder Hello Inc. One shot edition. Uh, we're happy that you're here. We'll see if we can entertain you for the next two hours. Uh, maybe, maybe not. Hard to say. Uh, great group on tonight. Uh, first level. Uh, so they're squishy, uh, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D &D with us, join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, there it is. Boom. Uh, yeah. Big shout out to Murder Hobo or, or uh, Pirate Dog Dice. I will not be using them because they are first level and they are squishy. And also, don't forget Pirate Dog... I don't wow. know what the hell I'm doing, folks. I'm just, I'm just way off. Are you uh, okay, you for Hank? The list just like mine here. Yeah. That, that's right. Guys, don't forget dice. about Oddfish Games and their adventure sense. Yes. The game stink. Uh, make it stink more with adventure stink. No, 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 no. You're making your room stink, stink less, even though your game really stinks. N not when oh, Kyle uh, harps in what? the trash can. <laughs> that's right. Amia. <laughs> Yeah, because you're vomit. Isn't that smell oh, putrid? Okay. And uh, also the Shine system. If you're looking at getting into writing, check out their Shine system. Uh, it will help you get things organized. Okay, on to the game. Before I go ahead and explain it, let's introduce you to the cast. Uh, we will start with ladies first. Kyle. Carol. <laughs> <laughs> See, he does that, and then he'll go to like Kyle. <clears throat> He's right. I ain't no freaking lady. My name is Carol. I'm a longtime gamer, occasional GM, and a commission mini painter. And tonight I'm playing Torga, my dwarven fighter, with a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer, Peter. Although Gabriel. it's Warhammer staffs because there is no sledgehammer that I can find as a weapon in the game. Wow. Uh, next up, off. Mike. It's been a while, so maybe you don't know Mike. Maybe you do. Mike, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I'm Mike. Uh, I'm a, I only serve to annoy Frank and ruin his storylines. <laughs> Good. And in my free time, I know fair, those don't exist. Hey, I, hey, I've been gaining on the other side, having to DM now. So, uh, but tonight I'll play playing Thorngar, the human fighter. Mm, oh, I forgot to actually rename myself here. And killing Idiot. shit. Uh, second time in for Big Rob on the West Coast. Rob, tell us about yourself. Tell us about who you're playing. <laughs> I'm Rob, and I was a forever DM until last Saturday, and now oh. I'm back for more punishment. Um, I'm going to play a tabaxi rogue named Valley Covered by Mist and Darkness, but generally known as Mist. Nicely done. Uh, see folks, uh, you know, not everybody has bad experiences on here or Rob's just a glutton for punishment. We aren't sure. Yeah. Last, but certainly not least, uh, taking the big chair on Thursdays in just a few weeks. Kyle, Kyle, who are you? Who are you playing? Unmuted. Okay. Hi everybody. I'm Kyle. Uh, 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 I am the second most prolific DM, but not the most prolific character creator as we discovered last Tuesday. <laughs> Um, what else to say? Your job, job. Oh yeah, yeah. Who are you uh, playing uh, tonight? Oh wait, did you include the podcast thing, the audio podcast? Oh no, I did not. Go ahead. Did not. Oh, I don't actually know what it is because you didn't. Tinyurl.com, mhobo Inc. Audio. If you don't want to look at our faces, just listen to our crap. Oh crap. Okay. Oh, and tonight I will be playing. Uh, uh, hold on, let me get into character real fast. <laughs> I will be playing Jump Jump tonight. Mm, I'm so hungry. I don't know why, but I always seem to gain like 10 pounds every time I play Jump Jump. I don't know why. I don't know why either. It's <laughs> astonishing. Uh, uh, it's because oh, you know. get into your character. Uh, no. <laughs> Folks, I he's... appreciate it, man. I oh, appreciate God, it. Until he chokes on it. And you Kyle will be having a heart attack. Yeah, you're in Lafayette. We'll find it. Uh, folks, these guys are all fourth level. They are out on the road looking for adventure. They find themselves as the sun is setting in the small town of Stafford. Uh, 
a hole in the wall, <laughs> no, nothing famous, nothing unusual about it. Uh, but as they roll into town, Jub Jub needs at least another turkey leg, and the others' stomachs are growling uh, ahead of them. They see a shrine, I'm sorry, a temple, and a graveyard, and in between that, uh, they see the Tower Tavern, a nice little tavern where they can probably get food and drink. Uh, do you guys want to go in and do the adventure, or do you want to fuck me over and move on? I see a cemetery over there. That is great for jerky. You want to go look at the cemetery? I, uh, I mean, the I've... temple probably has the blood and body of Christ in it. But could face in this. I want some ale, damn it. <laughs> I want to go oh to the tavern. I want some ale. Too. I want to go to the tavern and get some ale. Yeah. I want music and Torga and Mister going into the tavern. Uh, Thorngar, what are you doing? <laughs> I'll go in the tavern and <laughs> jump, jump. Torga's looking delicious tonight, so <laughs> I'll be following her. Oh my God. You this cannot is for eat mature me. audiences only. <laughs> wait, wait. How do I look delicious? How do you? Oh my eat God! Me? Give it a rest, <laughs> Jesus, fan girl. Don't go, Carol. All we can do us. that when I'm the DM and you're the player. <laughs> right now, we're both players. No one wants to see that. That's right. Uh, the building inside can best be described as rustic. Uh, and appears just like all of the other buildings from the outside. Shaker shingles adorn the top of the second story, and bars are on the windows, so apparently murder hobos have been through here before. Uh, it appears as though the exterior has recently been plastered and is in good shape. Uh, the interior, as you open the door, is cloudy with a variety of scents assaulting your nostrils. Tables and chairs made of pine are spread throughout the main floor, and a kitchen resides in the back corner of the first floor. Uh, along with tables and chairs for food and drink consumption, the area is marked off for games of chance is also present and that is to the right. Uh, there is also a raised platform where a bard appears to be tuning her instrument. So uh, there are multiple people in here uh, as you look around, you see your standard fat balding tavern owner, uh, a harried wife making food, and twin daughters that are just hitting puberty uh, and are the waitresses. Uh, as you walk into the door, there are three elongated tables to your left, and then individual tables and chairs to your right, as well as a nice warm fire with individual seating. And in the back is the raised platform and more tables lining the wall. Uh, all in all, to your left, there are five patrons at the first table, none at the second, two sitting at the bar. On the right, one person enjoying the roaring fire, one at a table by themselves, one at a table by themselves, one at a table by themselves, and one at a table by themselves. From here, uh, all you see is the kitchen bar area, tables. What would you like to do? I'd like to remark about this ghastly tavern. Sure. Roll me a A lot of <laughs> lonely people here, aren't there? There's you know, a lot of single people at tables. This is what medieval I'm harmony. <laughs> what, what am I rolling, Frank? A d12. And what do you say? Hmm? Nine to say it's quite ghastly and clearly not the best of areas with the bars and the windows. Oi, prick, uh, says a female human. Uh, she has a narrow face and black hair with light hazel eyes. She wears finely tailored clothing uh, with a sling of vials and potion. Uh, she speaks with a very deep, gruff voice. What do you mean, dirty? I didn't say dirty. I said guess. I don't care anymore. <laughs> I need another drink. And she shoves you out of the way. Let's see. 
with a nat 20 first of the night she, she gives you a nice push and heads towards the bar by the way her charisma is a two hey hey Does she so it's just the clothes that look nice that's right her yeah. her mouth looks like a picket fence hey uh hey hey am i in front of Thorgar or am I behind him? I was just she like shove him and then walk by me. Uh odd you're on his left, even you're on his right. Yeah. Even you're on his right, so no, she walks past. Damn you. it, I wanted a tripper. You can go up and push her into the bar. Cat fight, cat fight, cat fight. Yeah. I'm not fighting anybody. Uh Jub Jub, give me a constitution check, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is going to. Oh, I should probably have my character sheet out. Uh, check or save? Check. Check. That's an 18. This place smells delicious. I begin to gnaw on the wood. <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> kidding. I shove Torga and Thorngar out of the way. Ah, and Thorngar. then I grab a <laughs> hunk of cheese <laughs> off one of the tables as I walk over to the kitchen. Regardless I got a of who's eating it. Can you get a strength check on that save or on the shove? Sure, I'm, just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have it. It's not gonna cause anything. Uh, seventeen, twenty-three. Uh, you, you shove. I Florida. smear <laughs> myself as all the grease from all the <laughs> fatty items <laughs> right across your armor instead. My chainmail is now greased up. You're yes. welcome. That'll It'll be easier to This tonight. place is dirty now, ain't it? <clears throat> Uh, the Ooh. five patrons at the table that you snatched the cheese off oh, are guards. Didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> Good roll. That is a really bad roll. Ooh, uh, I appreciate it. Miss, <laughs> what would you like to do? Your new associates have made a name for themselves already. Yeah. I'm going to go to one of the tables that's occupied by only one person and grab a chair and take it with me and go sit close to the bar straddling the chair backwards uh number okay uh got it uh the male halfling uh is dressed in religious apparel uh he looks rough in appearance with gray hair and gray eyes uh he wears a wooden holy symbol of a circle with a line through it. Uh, and he's muttering to himself. I, I should perhaps let you know that although um, Mist is a kind of charcoal gray with black leopard spotting, he has resting derp face. Nice. And is, and is frequently blepping while he watches bards or does anything concentration oriented. The female bard uh, pays no oh. attention to you. Um, but you do hear a sneeze from the next table over. And that is uh, another female, a uh, human, uh, dressed in chain mail, uh, with a blade strapped to her leg. Uh, she apparently may be allergic to cats, or she may be like, uh, I racist. Don't know. Yeah, ra uh, tabaxi racist. I, I, I think we got one of those. In the group somewhere, on, on, yeah, ask somewhere. her name. What's her name? Uh, Thorngar, we'll go back to you. You've been shoved and smeared with grease from Jub Jub. What do you want to do? I'm gonna go ask one of the waitresses for their finest ale and a steak and then go take a seat by the fire. What's your charisma? Charisma check or just my regular? Okay, just your charisma 14. <clears throat> Did I name the girls? Because uh, why do I need charisma for this, Frank? Uh, just wanted... You you ordered the ale, but the young lady is smitten with you. Oh, As she rolled a seventeen. Uh, she thinks you're nope, kind of cute. Nope, nope, you're nope, nope, shining nope. in her eyes. Uh, it's the just the grease, grease glistening on my <laughs> probably on my shoulder. Uh, give me an odd even. Uh, Thorngar? Even. Uh, you get Ducey. Ducey smiles and you can tell with the starstruck look in her eye 
that you have made a friend. She blushes and points out she will get you the finest ale and the largest mug, me lord. Uh, over to Torga. Uh, your group is splintering up in several Probably. different directions. What would you like to do? I, I guess I'll just continue <laughs> with it. I'm going to go to the bar next to the bitch that just, you know, Whoa, Thorgar, Thorvingar, Let let me see which seat she took. Uh, okay, she is wedged between a male elf and a female dwarf peasant. Uh, she's ordering the drink, beating on uh, the the tabletop. Mm, I want to pull up, well, I obviously can't sit right next to her, so I pull up in one of the empty things to just give a side, you know, side eyes glance at her, and I'll go off. Let's see if hey, she notices. Uh, um, your finest ale. I'm thirsty. She leans across, meets your side eye, and says, uh, are you looking at me? Are not much. Are you looking at me? Why would I be looking at you? There's not much to look at, after all. Do, do, did you hear? Do you, are you are are you guys hearing what I'm hearing? Oh, oh shit! Uh, second nat twenty of the night. She shoves the dwarf peasant on top of you. Roll a dex save. Ready, ready, ready. A deck save. Well, I rolled an 18 to start. What uh, you'll live? manage to dodge the dwarf peasant. Uh, you will not dodge her drink as it spills all over you. Uh, a gasp is heard in the tavern as the two ladies are no, it's, off. No, it's, it's not a lady's cat fight. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm it's going to be. Uh, no, because that'd be hair pull, pulling and claws. No, it is going to be fists. Fair enough. Jub Jub, you're up. What do you want to do? I would like to eat the kitchen. Uh, you cannot. Uh, do you want to try and go through the door? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll go through the door. Yeah, there's a lady on the other side with a rolling pin that tells you to get, and I quote, your fat ass out of the kitchen. <laughs> I've got money. I'm hungry. She picks up a handful of flour and <laughs> covers you <laughs> in flour. And I said, get up. out, you bastard, or I'm hitting you with this and not where you think I'm going to. Is what that a you? rat back behind you there? No, nope, that's tomorrow's special. Now get the fuck out of my kitchen. <laughs> Grab whatever I can get out and out the door. <laughs> uh, D12 against me. D12. Now I don't have one of those. I got it right here. All right. Uh, 10. 11. You grab a small container of cinnamon. You'll be able Worth to do it. the cinnamon challenge Worth later. Uh, let's see. Mist. Uh, uh, this instrument that she's playing looks like a circular lute with a long stem. She looks at you as you give her the creeper face. And she's immediately turned off. Uh, but she goes. <laughs> and starts playing deliverance. Uh, the <laughs> is heard once again over your left shoulder. Uh, and you hear. <laughs> Excuse me, you hear a scuffle and the fighter moves deeper into the uh, tavern. <clears throat> that brings us back to Thorngar. You are, uh, you have found yourself a chair next to a, <laughs> uh, a female who is hiking up her skirt, showing an exceptional amount of leg <laughs> and says, uh, how you doing? Oh no! <laughs> uh, you're, you're just a charmer tonight, man. Apparently, uh, I think I'm just gonna get up and go find a seat at the bar, away yeah. from. <clears throat> There's an empty table. That's better. There are three. 
empty tables. Or four, empty actually. Chairs. Just There's as an a, a two, two sixes, and a four. The bars get people at him. There's a fight starting. Yeah, you can see Torga and your <laughs> newfound friend. Yeah. <clears throat> Is there enough space at the bar that I can just watch the fight from afar? No. <laughs> I'm going to go <laughs> ask one of the tables of just a single person at it if I can just have a seat. Sure. Uh, that is right past uh, the tabaxi, right next to the bardess. Let's see how she likes you. Oh, God. Yeah, she doesn't like you either. <laughs> so two, for, two out of three. Uh, also... Uh, the young barmaid, uh, Ducey. Ah, ah, ah. Here you go, my lord. I included uh, some pretzels. <laughs> thank you. I take the pretzels and go to the empty table and the start munching give, on them. The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Uh, give me just a straight up d20. The higher you roll, the louder you are. Oh, God. Very good. Uh, you can clearly hear the deliverance music as the bard just tries to glare down at the tabaxi. Uh, that I wonder why us, that might be. Uh, that takes us to Torga. Torga, why don't you roll initiative against me? Let's see All how right. this is going to go. Uh, that's not great. That's 12. <laughs> that's a 16. Uh, I also want to say I'll be watching intensely about, at the impending fight at the bar. Sure. Uh, look, bitch, you watch yourself because I don't like you looking at me. So you go look at something else. Uh, the dwarf by this time has picked herself up, is a little bit steamed that her beverage has been spilled. Uh, but fortunately, the tavern owner pops a new mug in front of her. No charge. What would you like to do, Torga? I go, I'll give you something to look at. And I'm going to hit her. I will move oh. so that I don't don't include the other dwarf. Unless you your... roll low. Yeah, for rolling low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making a punch the dwarf. Yeah. Uh, not with a 17 on the die. So wait, yeah. is that 17? Yeah, 17. So you that clock, would be a, yeah. You clock Mira right in her narrow face. Which, yeah, let's see. So the damage, I believe, is five points. My wow. mad, mad, my really good strength. I think it's strength plus one, right? Tis on like Donkey Kong. Mm. Uh, uh, Jub Jub, <laughs> you now have a small container of cinnamon. I'm not sure what you're going to do with it, but <laughs> you get pushed out of the kitchen and notice uh, Torga Jack, uh, the lady that pushed her way past Thor Thorngar earlier. What do you want to do? You're muted. I'm sure that was hilarious, too. Pop up onto the bar. <laughs> I scream, bar fight! Chug the cinnamon down and then chug. <laughs> well. Uh, give me a constitution <laughs> save. As, as his entire insides just dehydrate, right? Oh, oh, I've done that one before. It's delightful. Have you done um, the cinnamon challenge? Uh, I was working next door to a oh, no. Starbucks, and I was oh, like, God. oh, come on. I could eat a spoonful of cinnamon. That's ridiculous. No, you can't. <laughs> no, you can't. I was very no, close. No, no. You I have didn't to, taste yeah, anything no. else, though. It's a lot uh, of saliva. 19. Chub Chub <laughs> has no gag reflex whatsoever. Uh, I accidentally eat the can, too, that it was in oh. instead. Oh, well, you take a chunk out of it. Thorngar, you can see that you're associated. I thought you were a blob, not a good. I really I'm wish you out. spit it on her face. That would have been funny. <clears throat> I wanted him to choke and fall off the bar, causing <laughs> damage. Uh, <Ooh. laughs> missed no. uh, your one of your associates is to your left. Uh, with his back against the wall, keeping an eye on stuff. Yeah. The uh, glaring bard does not like your intense gaze. Finishes oh. her rendition of Deliverance. <clears throat> I was, I was. Any um... requests? Free bird. <laughs> yes! Where, 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 ah! where, where, where? Oh, I was waiting for that one. 
<laughs> uh, no, oh, I'm going to turn my you. back on the bard. Thank you so much. Okay, give her the cat ass. Yep, going to give her the cat ass. I'm also going to like lean over and and like adjust my shoulder uh, epaulette on my armor and just kind of give it a little flip. And then I'm going to glare at the person <coughs> who sneezed at me. Oh, okay. Um, it is a human female fighter. Okay. Uh, she is unimpressed. Uh, she wears uh, worn clothing, chain mail, and an iron amulet and uh, drinks two-fisted. So she's not going to give much of a shit. Uh, Thorngar, yes. Uh, she does know that song. She breaks into Freebird on a banjo. That's got to be classy. Uh, how, how good oh, yeah. is it? How good of a rendition is it, though? <clears throat> Her performance? Two, five. <laughs> they start booing immediately. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm going to shout, I could play it better than that. She stops and begins to adjust the strings a little bit. Uh, and boosts it to a 17. Now, she, now she's got the chords right. Apologies. Much better. Yeah. Uh, Torga, uh, I don't think the chick is going to take this lying down. No, no. Yeah, I, I assume one initiative, so she, it's her turn. Yep. <laughs> you, you hit me. You, you hit me. You deserved it. And she jumps at you. <laughs> Oh, 18 on the die. <laughs> yeah, no, it... She smacks your head into the wooden floor for three hit points of damage and has a hold of your hair. Yeehaw, motherfucker. Go ahead, Torga. <laughs> upper, uh, yeah, uppercut to try sure. to smack her off of me. I'll give Come you on. plus two to hit her. Give me what? I'll give you plus two to hit her since she's on top of you. Uh, well, that's going to hit it because that's another 17. So it's 19 plus <coughs> whatever, uh, six, so 25. <coughs> uh, roll a D, yeah, how much damage? No, you don't roll for this. It's, yeah, for unarmed hits, it's just your strength plus one. And that is five so again? So five, yeah. Roll a straight up D20. Uh, that's not great. That looks like it adds an eight. I don't know what's great or good or bad, so. Uh, she vomits on you. Uh. Uh, Thorngar. Uh, Freebird is getting better. So I'm a little liquored up. Freebird's playing. I'm going to go over and sweep the leg on the girl fighting Torga. Well, you're going to have to cross uh, D12 against me. That one. Five, uh, you are going to get blocked <coughs> by a male halfling soldier headed over towards the bar, uh, and you, you're you going to have to do something to try and get around him because he is just storm trooping his way over there. Mm -hmm. Or you can just follow mm -hmm. him behind him to see who he favors. Can I toss him forwards? Sure, because he's not going to see it coming. <laughs> What do you want? Strength check. Are are, are you gonna? Uh, this is Sparta. Kick him. <laughs> no, I'm gonna I'm gonna lift him up and then just kind of oh, swing okay. him <laughs> forwards. Strength check. Let's let's see if you lose a testicle. That is a twenty-two. He's up. Now give him a heave ho. Uh, there's a female dwarf peasant. There's the. Uh, Male elf who doesn't give a crap. There's Jub Jub, uh, and then there's the two ladies. So roll a D four, uh, or I'm sorry, roll a D five. You want uh, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, or ten to hit them. Ten, so five. Well, you said D five. I just did D10 and have Right, it. five. Five works. Uh, yeah. You throw it on the vomiting female who pushed you out of the way. Uh, give me D4 for damage. Four. Uh, the concussion 
bounces her head off the wooden timber floor, knocking her out as she straddles Torga in a position of extreme casual acquaintance. What the hell does that even mean? She's uh, hugging you. Yeah, looks like you guys are having sex on the floor. Pretty much. Can't this isn't radio. radio. <laughs> this isn't uh, radio. You're now covered in vomit, yeah. but your assailant is to the side of you, and she's unconscious. Can Jump Jump go? What's that? Uh, High five? Go. Yeah, I'll let Jump Jump go. I'll let okay. Jump Jump go. Okay. So after having jumped on top of the bar, mm -hmm. drank the cinnamon, Jub Jub runs down the bar, <laughs> kicking anyone's drinks out of the way, <laughs> including a possibly angry dwarf. And then gracefully swan dives into the middle. Okay, well, they're side by side, so go ahead and give me an attack roll with dexterity to use your modifier. Oh, right. Do you want to land in the middle of them, or do you want to target one of them? I'm a 450 pound man. Okay, yeah, I'm probably yeah. going to get both of them. Unless you, know, you roll too low and you're going to impale yourself on a stool. You know, you know, it's like uh, the joke. 13. When he sits well, around, 15. when he sits around the end, he sits around the end. The end. Nice. Uh, give me a D6 <laughs> or give me any D. Uh, even means two hit points. Odds one. Odd. Uh, one hit point, Torga. <clears throat> As Jub Jub hits you just as you're starting to get up, the elf walks away wordlessly. <laughs> the female dwarf peasant is pissed because that was her second drink. Oh, uh, she let's should go be missed. Uh, <coughs> the fighters just one of the barmaids, Lucy, the other one comes up two more beverages <clears throat> and the fighter is just staring right through you doesn't give two shits what do you want to do I, i'm just gonna nod at her in a soldierly fashion um as i spent some time in the military and then i'm going to turn my entire <laughs> attention away from her as well Fair and enough. Uh, i'm gonna get up and walk to the bar and buy a drink whatever the dwarven uh, peasant was drinking. Uh, D12 against me? Nine? Oh, where the hell's a 12? Oh, come on. Uh, that's a 12. Uh, yes, nobody is in your way. You stride up to the bar where Torga is trying to get out from underneath sweaty, greasy Jub Jub. Uh, He's hey, any, greasy. Anybody else? He's not greasy. Anybody yeah. else at the bar? The He's elf has walked away and elf. is over by the fireplace. By so there's there's nobody else by the bar? Okay, so I'll just buy the dwarven peasant gal a drink <laughs> and uh, then turn and hand it to her and go, I'm sorry, my friend was involved in something that shouldn't have involved you. Thanks. Rob, you're a good guy. You're a good guy. You are not <clears throat> going to do well. Uh, <laughs> I did, I did. Hey, hey, by the way, for the record, I did specifically try not to involve her. So, oh, that's okay. Specifically, okay, Torga, you're starting to get up. What do you want to do? Your new friend is unconscious, you are Hello? covered in vomit, and everybody is over here except for. Yeah, Thorngar, you walked over here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. I saw. I stopped and I threw the halfling over there. That's right. Mind. There's a halfling in the middle. Uh, on There's a halfling the there on my behalf. What's uh, happening? The halfling went on the inside of the bar and he's currently getting pummeled by the owner. Whoa. All right. Well, <laughs> all I was going to do is squirt, squirt, I mean, squirt out because Dub Dub is so greasy. I should just. Uh, and uh, I, I want to pick, if I can, I want to pick her up. I've got an 18 strength, so I'm pretty damn strong. And I want to toss her out of the bar. Fair enough. Uh, give me a strength check. <laughs> Zombies are going to eat her. That'd be nice. Uh, well, that is a 16. Yeah, you pick her up. <clears throat> She's kind of lightweight. And I said, I, I don't know how far I can get, you know, with whatever time I get, but basically I'm going to toss her out of the bar. 
Okay. Uh, the people with the cheese that was stolen by Jub Jub <laughs> hold the door open and allow you to go ahead Boom. and give her a heave ho. Everybody, perception check. Yeah. Oh, even me. That's what yep. I was waiting for. Damn. Oh. Um. I'm busy listening to Freebird. <laughs> Nothing more. Actually, the, for Wait, me, that's I have not an bad. expertise in perception. Uh-huh. 14, which is good for me, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's 22. Yep. Jub -jub. Also a 22 with a natural 20. Wow. As, Jub -jub. as the door opens up. Food, you know, I, I know where to find it. A bell is being rung. Dinner bell. Could be. Not quite. Do uh, I hear it? Do, did I make a high enough perception check with a 14 to hear this? Oh, yeah. Uh, you threw her into a mud puddle, by the way. Oh, oh hell yes. She got what she deserved. So, yes, the, the temple next door is ringing its bell. Uh, it doesn't seem to be an alarm of anything. It's just like an more of an, uh, just kind of an hourly kind of thing. Uh, Thorngar Freebird has ended. Uh, do you want to have her try and play Inagata Davida? Mm. Does she know eruption? Um, uh, she is not familiar with that. Uh, How about can I Wonder go up Wall? and play it for her? You uh, do you have a musical instrument? Oh, I don't think. Please it be is. a mar mouth harp. Please be a mouth harp. <laughs> Frank, you know I'd pick something Frank, like bagpipes. You know what? I'll, I'll give you a bagpipe or recorder. <laughs> oh God! Give me the, give me the, yeah, give me the recorder. There you go. You can go up there Fingering and you two can close. have a jam session. <laughs> do I need a real performance? Of course you do. <laughs> <laughs> that's a oh, that's yeah. a six. Oh, she's. It's quite bad, isn't it? Not sure what it is. She leans over. Did you kill a cat? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she tries to play along, but she's going to do it at disadvantage because <laughs> no. she's never heard of it and she's trying to mimic you. Uh, six and a one. So she crucifies the song. Uh, meanwhile, can I, can I just bluff that it's uh, a tune from uh, Eastern Land? That give she's me, playing it just fine. Give me a deception check. It's avant-garde music. You know, it's just weird. That's going to be a 19 deception. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'll buy that. That would explain why it sounds awful. Uh, you guys continue your ditty. Meanwhile, back over at the bar, uh, Mist, uh, the female dwarf, was pretty much having a bad night anyway. So she thanks you and walks over to a table and sits down. What would you like to do? Oh, let me see. What's going on still in the room? Uh, not a darn thing. <laughs> Actually, everybody, perception check again. Yeah. What's hiding? Ooh, uh, that's, that's good. 11, 17. 20. Everybody but Jub Jub hears, you're a cheating son of a bitch. So Ooh. as you're facing the bar... And the bard is over in the back corner, right on the side of the kitchen is where the noise is heard. Thorngar notices a door has opened up to a private room and a group of seedy looking gamblers and some men of the cloth are present in there. So seedy looking gamblers. And apparently the gambling. there's cheating going on. Hmm. And Mike, I gotta tell you, I'm picturing Peter Griffin and Quagmire on their uh, their rock tour. <laughs> I, I'd like to be inside that room. You can head that way. By the way, was the halfling I tossed the one wearing like uh, cloth of the church? Can I roll for still? Uh, you may. No, this is a soldier. He was wearing chainmail and okay. had a spear. I was just wondering if I threw one of their altar boys. Nope. <laughs> the church does not hate you. How is your stealth? 17. Uh, yeah, you uh, managed to sneak around without anybody noticing. Uh, Torga, what do you want to do? 
Um, no. Uh, I, I'll take one last look out in the street to see if there's anything interesting, and then I just walk back in. Quiet. All right, then I walk in, go back to the bar, and see if they'll serve me that ale I wanted. Uh, he will, but he passes by you and goes towards the front door, presumably to check on the patron. Um, so you can go back up to the bar. Yeah. You will be there. Jub Jub will be there. The halfling soldier, quite confused since he got kicked in the face by the owner, uh, will also be there trying to figure it out. Uh, Jub Jub, what do you want to do? You're muted. I want to eat. God, he's muted me at all. The lady with the uh, rolling pin sticks her head out of a little opening and goes, "What do you want to eat?" Everything. Not more cinnamon. Yeah, you're, you know, it. you know, you're covered in cinnamon, right? You oh yeah, stop absolutely. licking yourself. That reminds me of the jerky. Oh, uh, tonight's menu includes. Roasted partridge, roasted crab, oh. porridge, and, and barley bread and bitter cheese. Partridge and cheese. I will take all of it. Do I pay up front or afterwards? She look, takes one look at you and says, you got to pay up front. Uh, two gold pieces for the entire slew. That will include a mug of ale or... A uh, glass of wine, your choice. Uh, how much? Uh, I give her all the gold I have. D- don't don't stop bringing it out. Okay, fair enough. I'll be uh, here at this empty table. I I, I, with the I empty I, chairs. I look, now my friends are dead and gone. I look at her and I'm like, <laughs> it's absolutely. It probably he probably still didn't pay you enough for what he wants to eat. Although that departure sounds fabulous. Can you make one for me? And how much? Uh, for you, three silver pieces. All right, done. And I'll put, actually, I'll tip them the next one. Uh, the owner operator comes back, asks if you <coughs> want a drink, uh, will serve you. Jub Jub is at the spare table. You and the dwarf are at the bar. Uh, Thorgar is in the corner and Mist is headed to the gambler's room. Uh, we'll go with Thorngar. Uh, she's lost interest in trying to recite the song. Uh, let me roll it's some. eruption. There's no lyrics. Right. Uh, <laughs> and she asks you if you're in town for Liza's day. For who? No believe I've... Day, the raising of the dead. No, I don't believe I'm familiar mm-hmm. with it. Oh, Can okay. you enlighten me a bit about it? Um, yeah, every ten years, uh, unconsecrated ground, the dead rise up and attack the living. Right. Here, Why would you live here? What the? I don't live here. Nine hells. I, I didn't realize that they had unconsecrated ground here. Fair. Give me a <laughs> per- give me a perception check. At Why 20? do not clerics just consecrate all the ground? You notice three dudes in robes in different parts of the room come together and head towards the door. Uh, over mm. to Miss. What, what color robes, by the way? Uh, I believe yeah. they're red. Oh, that doesn't bode well. Like wizard uh, robes gray, or cleric gray, robes? Gray, cultist uh, robes? Cleric, cultist robes. They're gray okay. with red piping. Just think, we're going to find out the reason why they rise over 10 years. This is a ritual that those priests do. Are they red like a beef tartare? No, they're or gray. Like gray. Jelly gray. Well, well, oh, well, gray. I, they're gray with <laughs> jelly piping. piping. Yeah, but 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 are the decorative red like beef tartare? <gasps> like the gray stuff. It's delicious. Yes, and it's the circle with the line through it is their uh, symbol. Uh, Mist, you have... Uh, found the gambler's room there is a seat open there are four gamblers here they appear to be playing cards Ooh, dice is more my game hmm well um let me just try and pick a pocket while i'm there <laughs> of the gamblers sure go well, ahead sure i'll just make a little survey of the tables and 
<clears throat> let's see. You've got. See if I can bump into somebody and apologize. As you walk in, there's a table that cuts the room in half. There are two on one side and two on this side. On your side, there is a human female, a lot of chicks in this building, and a female gnome. Across the way, uh, the halfling soldier has arrived and taken a seat, as well as the female dwarf. Let me go um, see how the halfling soldier was. He already you know, got into it with one member of my party. So he has, he has kind a, of... a bruise right here, not here, right here. Yeah. I'm going to go and uh, offer him false condolences as I bump into him and pick his, see if I can up his coin first. Sure, go uh, ahead. That's a 17, which is going to be uh, plus. Six is twenty-three. Give me a D six. Come on. That's a five. Uh, that's a bag of gems. Thirty Ooh. gold pieces worth of gems. Those will be somewhere inside my stuff. <clears throat> Torga, uh, you have your drink. A few minutes later, the partridge that you uh, ordered is there. Yeah. I think it's Shirley Jones. I well, take that, it. I'll... I take it and go to an empty <clears throat> table, and I realize I probably still have puke. I'm trying. You do. I the one thing I'm not sure because I'm not sure actually what all everyone's class there. Is that maybe you're pressed to digitation? Side no job does. Okay, I go ahead. No, he takes a crust it. of bread and shoop. Oh. He eats the pure. It was food once. Oh my god! <laughs> I was gonna ask if anybody has it. They cast it over me because I'm really not sure what everybody yeah. has in this group. <laughs> Jub-Jub Torga would know. It a lot. Oh God, that's gross. Well, <laughs> so I, are you going to sit at the table with Jub Jub, or are you going to find an empty table? I well, Jub Jub is cleaning me off. I'm going to sit at the table with Jub Jub. <sighs> the visual <laughs> image I have. Something in your hair. <laughs> I don't oh. pay attention because you know it's that's ale. It's all, all about the ale, man. It's all about the ale, and uh, I mean, I'll be drinking that down and trying to ignore what's going on. Orngar, uh the three cultist looking dudes. I'm sorry, uh, I just imagine you just like trying to ignore it. Yeah. Shaking but... visibly. <laughs> no, no, no. She's tough. Uh, Orngar, the... is one thing, whether you're curbed or not is Oh true. no. The three cultists look to be headed towards the door. Give me an investigation check, Thorngar. 21. Uh, you notice that there's a latch across the door. Uh, since you didn't notice when the bartender came behind Torga, the he locked the door. <clears throat> the cultists seem to be looking around as if there were nefarious dealings afoot. I'm gonna <clears throat> grab her banjo and kill them. <laughs> I thought about that, <laughs> but with the recorder. <laughs> well, see, but if you do it with the banjo, if you do it with the banjo, no one will actually miss the banjo. She hasn't played the uh, Cantina song from Star Wars yet. <laughs> well, she needs a recorder for that. Yeah. She also needs some blue face paint. Um, I'm going to go up to them and put my arms around two of them and say, hey, what's the rush to leave? Uh, Seem to be in such a hurry. Why not stay for some good times and drink? The bell has sounded. We need to go perform Vespers. Vespers for what? What should you possibly need to do at this time of night? Our religion. And what religion would that be? We we are followers of Liza. Have you not heard the Have you not heard the word of Liza? I've heard about her day, but nothing more. Wait. Let us let us sit by the fire and we shall explain the teachings of Lysith before we go to Vespers. God, what do I feel like I just picked up a... You stepped in at this time. Uh, oh, like, boy. Yeah. I just feel like I just like invited the Jehovah's Witness into my yeah, house. Yeah, they're going to yep. park their bikes yep. up against the wall yep. and go talk to you. Or the so Mormons. They, le- they lead you over uh, and say, Lysith, 
controls all the, and just goes on to this dissertation <laughs> that drones on and on and on. Give me another investigation check. That'd be uh, 16. The third uh, acolyte undoes the door and opens it uh, just as the proprietor screams at him, lock that damn door. The door bursts open with a cultist and two zombies. Everybody roll initiative. I knew it. I knew uh, it. I knew it. And these guys were up to no good. Uh, 15. Shit, 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 shit. Said 15 or 16? 15 for Torgan. Jump, jump, Any- miss. Are any of them going to start shouting blood for the blood god? <laughs> Not yet. Shoved you up and missed. 14. 13. <clears throat> uh, missed, since you're in the other room, uh, you won't get to do anything this round. <laughs> Uh, we'll start with a 15, Jub Jub, as you smear the puke off with your hard bread. You see the owner operator yelling, turn, and you see zombies come in. Uh, one of them looks like the one Torgo was just fighting a few minutes ago. Uh, the other one doesn't seem to do anything. And the acolyte that comes charging through y'all's, what'd you say, Mike? Blood for blood? Blood for the blood, God. Screw it! Blood for the blood god! <laughs> <laughs> and crushes one of the five sitting next to the door uh, with a 17. So that's going to go poorly. Uh, we will go next to 14. Uh, who had the 14? I did. Torga it was a goes 15. first, though. I rolled a 15, not a 14. Uh, There's go, go ahead, Torga. All right, so I grab, I go, damn it, they couldn't wait till I finished me dinner. And I'm going to grab my sledgehammer right up and take a shot at one of the zombies. Zombie? Okay. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I feel like in some ways, at this point, they're more dangerous. I don't like undead. Oh, that was a crappy roll. I don't think that's, well, zombies maybe feel like easy to hit. Uh, that's only a... Uh, what is that? That's only a 10. Wham. Eight is what you need to hit a zombie. Oh my god, so I hit the zombie. I'm using this two-handed, so it's a d10 plus my strength. Where's the 10? Oh, Jesus! My dice hit these the new dice, too! Uh, so that is that five points of damage, five points of damage. Five points of damage. Uh, two cultists jump Thorngar, I'll go with them first. <coughs> Ooh, nat one and a four. Uh, one leaps for you, but is tripped by his comrade. You will get advantage on that guy. Uh, the other cultist is busy with the cheese people. The fourth cultist is going to go after uh Mist is out of it for right now. Torga, Jub Jub, or somebody else. So three, Jub Jub, they're going for you. Uh, they scream out that uh, oh, seven deadly sins. Um, Gluttony. Not envy. Breath. Hey. No. Gluttony. Lust. Gluttony. There you go. Gluttony is a sin. Uh, with an eight plus three, 11. I'm going to yell out, not as bad as sloth. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming that Mrs. Jub Jub slides right off his greased hide. No. Well, uh, so the zombies nice. start to walk in, but uh, Thorngar will get his attack first. I'm in the way of them walking in anyways. Aren't I? You're in the way of everything. Good. <laughs> I want to uh, curb stomp the guy who's on the ground. Sure. Add advantage. <laughs> Did you go 14 yet or no? Yes. Oh, no. A, I haven't gone. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll get you next. <laughs> okay. That's a 22. I assume that hits. Oh, yeah. Easily. Four damage. Ouch. 
Uh, okay, now that I'm completely out of order, Jub Jub, go ahead. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I would like to bite the cultist. Before he tastes delicious. Yeah. He might. I want to speak and ask him how the cultist tastes. Uh, 14 to hit. 12 is what you need to hit a cultist. All right. There's nothing for bite. Uh, you want to just go one in strength? Uh, I'll go D4 plus strength. D4. You know I don't uh, follow the rule book on that. Class. I know. Uh, six. Piercing, I guess. Oh. Yeah, that'll oh. work. Uh, the zombies come in. Uh, all three of you are in play. I'll go uh, D6. Oh, and I'll rage too, I suppose. I should uh, do that at some yeah, point. That's yeah. point. So eight points of damage instead. Three, a zombie's going to go after Thorngar. Two. Uh, yeah, that one hit. Missed. You hear the disturbance peek around the corner and see all kinds of hell breaking loose. How Party far is it? Uh... Well, aren't I in the back of the room anyways? No, because you were at the fireplace. <laughs> because remember, they were going to preach to you. Uh, yeah. It is 45 feet away. I'm there. Uh, you also have to jump a table. That shouldn't be a problem. I have Give 60 me... feet of movement. Acrobatics? Okay. Yes. Give me an acrobatic so I can trip you. Um, well, that's a 16 plus 6. Sure, you leap over. You have four cultists... One is on Jub Jub. He will be out of play for you. Uh, so there are three cultists, three zombies. Um, okay. And Jub Jub's within five feet of them? Yeah, but he's 75 feet from you because he's at the table. Okay. I can't get that far. So um, now, you, you can get to the Thorngar mess pretty much. Oh, but Thorngar is there, right? Yeah, he's got oh, my, two cultists and a zombie on him. So my first attack on that uh, cultist is going to be um, at advantage and um, a sneak attack. Do you want the one he's already hit or the other one? Oh, I want the fresh cultist. Okay, go ahead. Um, 15 plus 6 is 21. Easily. Uh, 4 plus 4 is Eight and then another D six is oh only three more eleven points of damage. The cultist falls. Uh, I also look at Thorngar and say, "Dig." Are you using the dagger that you had? Yeah, the null dagger that I'm holding very, in my hand now. Very good. Uh, so you pry it out from between the ribs, and the cultist falls to the ground. Round two. Let's do this correctly. Fifteen. Torga, you're up first. It's amazing. I go first out of 15. Uh, I, well, all right. Where am I exactly in this room? I you thought... are next to Jub Jub. You are halfway between Jub Jub and Thorngar and Mist. I've got a, well, I'm near zombie, right? You are near a uh, cultist on Jub Jub. I had there is be... a zombie coming into the room and another zombie coming into the room and a cultist on the cheese table. Okay, you do know I hit a zombie last round, so I have to be near a zombie, or if it moved, I should have got an attack of opportunity. No, it didn't move. I, I, it's in front of you. All right, so there's still a zombie And there's here, two right? more zombies coming in, yes. All right, so- get that door closed. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna hit the, I'm gonna get the zombie that's nearest me that I already hit. Sure. Or try to, I should be, oh, that's a nat 20. I wonder why zombies yeah. have so many hit points. Go so ahead. this is roll the damage. Uh, damage, damage modifier. Means nothing to them. That's true. I need to roll two. I'm going to friggin' hopefully waste this guy. Come on. Better than, oh, <laughs> 14 plus the four. That's 18 points of damage. Wham just, with the sledgehammer to the just, head. Just enough to kill the zombies. Yes. I can move. move. I'm going to move towards the door. Since that was my attack, I'm going to Where, take a move. There, two, there are two zombies blocking it, so. Well, that's right. I'm moving to them. That's fine. Uh, yeah. 14, Jub Jub. <laughs> jub Jub. Uh, uh, the meat is not quite tenderized, so he will 
pull out his tenderizer, his flail, <laughs> and beat the cultist until he is uh, 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 the proper uh, chewing consistency. That is 15 to hit. Mm -hmm. And that is going to be a 10. Yes, 10 damage as uh, uh, Jub Jub. (laughs) Jub Jub smashes the cultist and knocks teeth that skitter across the wooden floor. The cultist falls lifelessly to the ground. Uh, That takes us to. 13s, Mist and myself. Mist, there is a zombie and a cultist on Thorngar. All right, I'm going to try and take care of that zombie for him, but I'm switching out to the short sword. I'll put the dagger in the other hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> shoot. That's a 17 plus 6, going to be a 20, whatever yep. that is, 3. You That's going to hit easily. Hit zombie, yeah, right? I know. Um, I just had to check this damage on a short sword again. Okay. Uh, that's going to be six points of damage. Damn. Damn, okay. damn, damn. Uh, let's see. Odd even. Zombie didn't like that, so the zombie will go after you. So Thorngar, cultist, 17 plus three, dirty 20. That'll hit. Murder hobo dad. Murder hobo six. Six plus one is seven. Uh, zombie on miss. Matt one. You will have advantage next time to hit it. Uh, oh. Two zombies. Anytime I have advantage. Uh-uh. But first, we'll see if the cleric continues to beat the cheese people or not. <laughs> Beats the cheese people. Uh, 18 plus 3 kills cheese people. Oh, uh, two that means zombies. their cheese is available. That's right. Two zombies are blocking the way of Torga. They'll go after you. Yep. 11 plus and 6, so 9 and 14. Miss, miss. They are blocking the door from you. Uh, last but certainly not least, Thorngar. You have a cultist on there. <laughs> yeah, I'm going for the cultist. That's a 23 to hit. Mm -hmm. Or 12 damage. What are you using? Great sword. Uh, You cut him from crotch to neck, uh, spewing blood, and it makes a remarkable sizzle in the fireplace, and Mm -hmm. and a stench rises, uh, but the cultist falls. Uh, so I'm going to go a second wind as well this action. <laughs> <laughs> Just, uh, you know. Sure. That was, uh, a big, that was a nice chunk I just lost there. Yep. I have a uh, two dead cheese people with one cultist and three zombies. Uh, and the three zombies are circling Torga. We start... New round, 15, Torga. Oh, I you, get three you got three Yep, you have the zombie that you've hit before and the two zombies barring the door. I haven't hit any of these zombies. The zombie I hit before is dead. So these are new. I just new ran, I ran to engage them. I didn't, yes. didn't I killed the other one. All right, so I'm going to attack, let's say the one on my right. Uh, I only need an eight house, so that's a nine plus whatever is going to hit. I love it. I love it. Love it. Uh, that's good. That's uh, a 12 points of damage on the zombie on my right. Very nice. Uh, we move on to the 14. Jub jub. Jub jub. Um, you said there's a smell of meat cooking? Yes. Mm-hmm. You're going to okay. have to push your way through Torga and the zombies to get to it before it burns. Okay, I'm going to go through Torga and the zombies. Strength check. Well, I'm going to run towards them and then smash one of the zombies with a flail. I yeah! Would. Yeah. Well, I mean, you did put the meat and them between... Jump, yeah, jump. obviously. 
uh, uh, 25 to hit, I think, hits. Yes. And You're going uh, that is going to be another 10 damage. That one's still alive. Uh, zombies attack last. I'm not even going to take an attack of opportunity. Give me a straight up D20 to make sure you don't knock Torga into one of them. Six. <laughs> Torga, as your associate runs past you, hit the flab on his arm. <laughs> Gives you a nice grease streak across uh, your chest. That right That's uh, like a plus one to AC, though, right? <laughs> yeah, because it deflects. <laughs> <laughs> so is, isn't that resistance to grappling? Uh, yes. That's what should be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think they're going to grapple. Uh, missed a spear comes flying over your shoulder and buries itself into a zombie. Right, same team, nice. Uh, seven, and it's gonna hit zombie Ooh, the middle one. Uh, the halfling fighter that you ripped off has thrown his spear over your shoulder and. Uh, it is now sticking inside one of the zombies. Uh, you and I go at the same time. Go ahead. Oh, I'm going to... Oh, I have advantage on this attack, which means he gets an extra Correct. d6 of damage. Uh, not that I needed advantage, so that big one's 17. We're going to add 6 to that again. And going to do 4 and 6 and 4 is uh, 14 points of damage to it. That is enough to drop him. Quick. Uh, but still my turn. Uh, even yeah. I'm dead. Uh, I will go one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, being Mist, Torga, and Thorngar. Four, Torga. The dead one goes after you. 16 plus. Three and yep. punch, punches you in the face. That hits four hit points of damage. The other two are going after Mist uh, and Thorngar. On Mist, fourteen plus three seventeen. That that hits. Hits the cat. Ow. Uh, four plus three on Thorngar is a seven, so that's not going to do it. The cat uh, takes two hit points of damage with a weak backhand. Um, top of the order, Torga. The oh, Wait. hang on, I forgot about the cult. Uh, he's going to go kicking the shit out of Cheesemongerville. Uh, okay, so we have one cultist killing the cheese people and two, Not our problem. two zombies alive, one with a spear sticking in him. Torga, you start. All right, hey, so I'm on the... Frank, aren't I at the bottom of... Oh, I'm sorry, that's right. I'm yeah. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Thorngar. So what's next to me? Uh, zombie. All right. You uh, have your choice. Zombie with spear sticking out of it or other zombie who is... Not bleeding because they're undead, but hurt. Other one. Uh, does a 16 hit? Oh, yeah. That'll be 13 damage. On the not spear guy? Yes. Thorngar lops off the head of yet another zombie, uh, narrowly missing Jub Jub's ass as he runs up to the fire pit to find the burning meat that does not exist. Oh, top of I didn't the, miss. <laughs> top of the order. No, no, no. I was preferring a one because that would have been awesome. Uh, Torga, you're up. There is one zombie and one ape shit cultist killing innocents. The zombie's on me, though, right? Because uh, I had two zombies on me. Correct. This okay. is the one with the spear in it. Yeah, so I'm going to... Yeah, then I'm going to hit that one. Or try... I'll hit that one. That's 11 plus 6 is 17 for uh, 9 points of damage. Still alive. Uh, Jub Jub, you arrive at the fireplace. There is no meat cooking, just blood. 
sizzling. It's sizzling from the eighties. Uh, no, okay, that's terrible. <laughs> I was going to have you um, roll intelligence check to see how close you got to the fire. I would fail that one. Trust me. Please uh, fire. Uh, so <laughs> I get an extra D6 to all my attacks since I'm on fire now, right? Yes. You amaliate <laughs> people when you hug them. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to make a roll real quick. If you say the grease catches me on fire, I will go set myself on fire (laughs) and then run after the uh, one attacking mist and just tackle it. Tackle it. That's awesome. You're on fire. You're like yellow beard. (laughs) Do Uh, it. He he won't. It's too early for him. Hey, that's true. But... Um, so that is going to be a, uh, you only need an eight to hit this thing. Oh, I'm going to hit. Okay. Uh, then yeah, I hit damage D six on fire. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, that's going to be five. I assume to me as well. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Still barely alive, uh, you hear the Xena chant. Uh, Mist, Thorngar, you see the bard leaping over a table with the banjo. Oh no! Clock the cleric with a natural one, clocks the owner of the establishment who has a bottle in hand and was going to hit the cleric, knocking. The owner out. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, we Am tied missed. We have one cleric and one zombie. Is it is it fair to assume that the cleric is unaware of me across the room from him? Uh, the cleric is unaware of much of anything because he's killing everybody at the table. So I'm going to throw a knoll dagger into the back of his head. Sure. Uh, or are you going to throw a knoll dagger in the back of the bard's head? Uh, well, with a 17 plus 6 being 23, I think I'm going to hit the cleric for 16 points of damage. That's Two sixes him. on that. Nice. Uh, at the same time, he kills another person. Uh, the zombie. I've got two more daggers. Is going to bite Jub Jub. Yeah. Yeah, Jub Jub's got that. Five plus three is an eight. Uh, Thorngar, uh, careful. Jub Jub is pretty well straddling and on fire the uh, remaining zombie. Also, Mist has killed the other cultist. So, what's left at this point? Anything? A zombie underneath Jub Jub that looks like two matchsticks hugging each other. Can I even do anything? Yeah, I'm going to stab it. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. Please be a one. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, Frank, it's your lucky day. It's you did not! You rolled a one? Yeah! Oh, my God! <laughs> Stabs Jub Jub. <laughs> Damage not even going to feel it. Thank God. Ten. Thank God he stab it. It's five. Then. Ten. I, I assume ten was full, right? That's full 13. What Wait, was it? 10 is full damage. Or yeah, full damage, yes. So five damage to Jub Jub. Your greasy loins cannot deflect that injury. <laughs> Actually, uh, it just cuts and ooze carts coming out, and then it sucks itself back in as Jub Jub doesn't even notice it. <laughs> Top of the order in this catastrophe. Torga, you're up. So the only thing left. Is a zombie under Jub Jub. We don't even get to the to... zombie through Jub Jub if we try hard yeah, enough. Yeah. Yeah. I think if you go. <laughs> if you want to through... question the zombie, you can kill Jub Jub no! and the zombie will be trapped underneath him. No, no he will I'm be not. Pinned. <laughs> I'm not. I don't want to question the zombie. I'm going to kill the zombie. I guess I'll, I'll <laughs> take my chances to not hit Jub Jub. One, 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 <laughs> one. <Shut> one. <laughs> That's not a one. That's a 14. 
Okay, so, you killed a zombie. Naturally, yeah. yeah. Uh, it had one 20. hit point left. Probably should have died under the extreme weight of. So the yeah, I take the sledgehammer and just smush his head like a watermelon. No Thorgar, more cultists. You, Thorgar, you do the whoops. <laughs> look up and you. Was that the, me? The bard is helping up the owner of the establishment who has a large <laughs> knot on his head, uh, but then you feel a tap on your shoulder. Is it Jub Jub? It is no. not Jub Jub. <laughs> it's it's Ducey. You yes. marvelous. <laughs> and she has she has another mug of ale for you. I'm gonna take it in one of my hands and just chug the whole thing down in one go. She looks at you like you're a deity upon high. Mist, uh, you want to go recover your dagger? Stick it. I sure do. And anything else of value that might be on the cleric's body? Uh, The cleric managed to kill four out of five of the dentist family at the cheese place. The cultists had twelve gold pieces between them. Uh, Let's roll a d4. Three, one, two, three. Jub Jub, uh, one of the cultists, the one that Thorngar split in half, has a potion bottle on him. I'll take it, pop it open, and put myself out. Please be Alchemist Fire. Please be Alchemist Fire. Please be Alchemist Fire. <laughs> that would be that would be a D twenty. Let's make sure it's not alcohol. <laughs> It's alcohol. Take a D4 damage. Oh, no! <laughs> so it wasn't a I'm going to add that to the normal D6 since I've still been on fire this Will time. you put yourself out, Jub Jub? Jeez. Yeah, but how yeah, are you going to put on. him out? He's a walking That's grease fire. 10 damage. <laughs> that stings a little. <laughs> you, uh, you're are Hades. You st- you're James Woods from the movie. Are you, are you still standing? Oh, yeah. I'm still standing. Uh, the bard breaks into I'm Still Standing by Elton John. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I prefer something by the Flaming Lips, to be honest, but okay. Nice. Uh, Everybody, sorry. Check. You guys are too old. That's a band. Ish. Band. Perception check. Uh, uh, 21. Proficient at, uh, Another 14. Uh, perception. Three. I'm not sure I notice I'm on fire still. <laughs> 25. Your eyes are too clouded by the fire to see anything else. You recognize that the door is still unlocked. Well, then I'll yeah. go lock it. D12 against me there, Torgo. Oh, God. <gasps> I'm headed that way, too. Oh, that's a four. Shit, Six. Uh, as you run over, you and Mist charge towards the door, and the door begins to open. God damn it. Uh, give me strength checks to see if you guys can slam it shut since the door opens. It's not good. I'm pretty good though. Uh, that's a can 17. I use athletics? <laughs> it's a 17. I can't find the door. Is that's it a, a three. one? Oh, three. Uh, Torga, as you slam the door shut, oh. a cat lands up against you right about knee level. Give me a dexterity check to make sure you don't fall on top of him. Check. All right. <coughs> uh, check. Well, that's um, that's a thirteen. Uh, yes, you managed to uh, shut the door, secure it, and not fall onto mist. Uh, I meant to is do there, that. Hey, Frank, is there a people or something uh, where I can look out and see what's pushing against? Okay, no. Nope. And, nor are there windows. Totally here. meant to do that. I thought yeah. there were barred windows. When we oh, came there out. are barred windows. Yeah. My so can I, I want to go I take, a, but none of them may view that particular spot, but I'll take, try to see if I can see. Uh, the streets Let's... are now alive with zombies. Oh, I'm gonna get good. I'm going to get spikes out of my bag and my hammer and start spiking the door closed. Chub Chub would like to put himself out now. You put out a grease fire then. <laughs> <laughs> I run into a bucket of water. 
Uh, for a grease fire? What about baking soda? You know, what about uh, cinnamon? Do you have any cinnamon? How about cinnamon? <laughs> how about it comes a, out with this nice. <laughs> how about a rug? Like, Everything smells like rug. a Yankee candle now. <laughs> <laughs> Use this piss soaked rug. <laughs> <laughs> Probably is. He used Torga's britches that are covered in puke. No, he, 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 I grabbed he, the spittoon at the end of the bar. <laughs> some of the cultist rubs. There's like what four <laughs> pairs here. Wait, so, how about a, how about... zombies in the streets? Yes. Yeah. And there's barred windows. Yes. <laughs> can we? Can we? Like, open the glass or unshutter it? No. So we'd have to break the glass. Yes. Well, I mean, you just want to because I mean, fight I've them? got a bow. Uh, the owner has come to his senses now, and he's like, "Just leave them be. Everything is locked. We're safe in here. By morning, they'll all be dead. We, we'll shelter in place. Just we'll shelter it. in place. We have enough food." <laughs> what I is go there back another no. way out. I I go back to eating my my uh, what the hell was it partridge. Yes. I I go to the owner and ask if there's another way out. Uh, because if there's another way out, something could get in. I kind of hope it does. I like smashing things. It's very satisfying thinking, to put my Now that all the people in the bar are safe, we could go out and smash things and leave these people inside the bar. There, I want to know why the cult... That's fair. You want to know what? I want to know why the uh, cultists seem to be affiliated with the temple here. Seems a little uh, uh, counter. Death God cults, citizens. man. Death God cults. The, Why would the people just let them run free, though? They thought, and the bartender will explain that he thought the ground was consecrated. Clearly, these bastardos have uh, deconsecrated the graveyard, hence the problem, because they've never had this problem before uh, in the previous decade. Is he lying? The bar yeah, give me an insight. <laughs> yeah, a really insight. It's uh 19. 17. He ain't lying. So is there another way out? What about the what the bard told me though? Or well, he said past decade. The bard said it's every, every decade. Time. Every decade. It Someone asked the owner about what about 10 years ago exactly. Didn't happen 10 years ago. What about before that? How do you know it's every decade then? It's Liza's day. Everybody knows Liza's day. What are you, a moron? No, that's not is what I asked. Is the owner say that, or is Wait, the bard that's, say that? that the, not... the bard told him it happens every 10 years that the dead rise from unconsecrated grounds. Oh, all over. The not owner just... said okay. the ground was consecrated, so something must have happened. He blames these cultists of Liza. Well, they gee. were originally perceived as positive, uh, now, not so much. Uh, Can I ask him why Liza is such a bitch every 10 years? Uh, I don't know why. Because he's an evil god. Uh, no, there's there's no other way out. This is a one way in, one way out. Ah, one way in. I'll start taking spikes out. I'm going to I'm gonna ask for another ale. I'm going to do a, a, a pose for, for the one, one waitress. Ducey, Ducey will bring Rimney? you anything. What how, What are you doing, you. Mist? Uh, taking the spikes out so I can get outside. Okay. Chaotic, <laughs> good. Yeah! Fair enough. Do you guys think maybe we should go assault the temple next door? Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Can we hit it? Like, is there a way oh. we could, like, throw flaming balls of liquor at it from here? That might I'm work. also going to hand Jeb Jeb a potion. What's the temple uh, made it. out of, by the way? 2D4 plus 2. Wood. It is, uh, so it'll burn? Remember, the temple is right up against the tavern, and the cemetery is on the other side of said tavern. Right. So you're saying it'll burn? It'll burn, but it'll also <laughs> burn the tavern. Tavern. Uh, uh, Frank, chaotic good. Yeah. Chaotic. That, that really <laughs> would define chaotic burp. I'm sorry, if we had consequences on this show, it would be an entirely different matter, but we all know there are no consequences here. Oh, that's hey, there are consequences sure. for the next 20 minutes. There, there are no, it's a one shot. There are no Who's got fireball? What? 
fireballs behind at, the bar. At level one? Uh, okay. Uh, is, the, the cat, is the owner stockpiling scrolls of fireball? Yeah, or the cat one? seems to be taking the pittons out of the door in an effort to leave. Uh, Torga jump, jump outside, gets his flail. You can see about 10 zombies. That may not be a good idea. As, can, I don't know. There's 10 of them right there. Can I grab some water and spray it on the cat and tell him no? <laughs> yes, you may. Call me a racist. <laughs> and uh, Ducey looks at you in admiration. You are so brave. Oh, God. That's a myth. <laughs> and I'll keep doing what I'm doing. I'm a missus, thank you. <laughs> uh, no, he's he's taking the pittance out. Anybody uh, got a laser pointer? Maybe you could distract him. Ball yarn. Oh, yeah. I'll leave one in until they convince me why I shouldn't go out there. Because there's like 10, because we're vastly outnumbered. Well, if we leave it locked, we can stay safe in here. And or... everyone else. There's enough go food out there for an die. hour. It's also not just about us. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, yeah. Fight. Jub Jub, Jub Jub, and you can go out and see what's going on. What happens when Jub Jub runs out of food? There's taste yeah. of zombies outside. I'm sure he he has. <laughs> no, wait, but that, no, that's not true. Because Are you he including our corpses on the road. in the food? Hey, wait a minute. The dead rise from their graves or the dead rise, period? Uh, he was told the dead rise from the grave. Well, I'm wondering about the bodies that are laying around the inside. What about the that? Probably nothing to worry about. They right. were about... already dead. We made them dead again. What about that bimbo <coughs> that was uh, that we threw out of the harsh, or that but... Torga threw she, she out of the She was bar. one of the zombies. She was one of the zombies. She's one of the yeah. zombies. She wasn't in the, the floor. I doubt, <laughs> I doubt someone put her in the grave in the past, what, 30 minutes? No, I meant what about the people that the uh, yeah, the cult. Killed? Yeah, the cultists. Yeah, the I'm cultists, just gonna. We got the cultist they killed. I'm, just, I'm gonna start casually derobing them and putting them on the fire. Sure. <gasps> oh. Uh, you he's notice, so Lord Gar, you are my favorite person. Oh my God, he's gonna eat them. You notice a twitching by one of the cultists as it's starting to reanimate. Can I stab I... it? I'd yeah. like to tenderize them. Do I need to roll attack on the stab? No, it's pretty much there unless you roll a one. Well, or 17. Dead again. Um, uh, I'm going to dra start dragging the bodies over to the fire. Okay. Mist, you also noticed the bodies are reanimating. Yeah. Um, Including the zombies? One. Yes. What? All um, right. Yeah. 16. Slice of stay, baby. Are you 16 continuing to take the pittance out or 16? Well, I'm helping... leaving that last pitten in and I'm going to move 16 to attack the nearest uh, twitching body. Okay. Stick it Fair in the enough. head and drag it toward the fire. Uh, there's, oh, there's, you're going to run out of room in the fire. So you're going to have to keep stabbing them for a while. You can uh, build a bigger fair, fire. Sir, Jump, actually... Jump is going to remove bodies from the fire when they're done. Yeah, as you say, what's the rate of burning sure. them versus the rate that Jub Jub eats them? I was going to say, how fast can Jub Jub <laughs> eat a zombie if a Jub Jub could eat zombies? I mean, if he could eat how zombies. many zombies does Jub Jub eat if a Jub Jub could eat zombies? How's Jub Jub do with bone marrow? Oh, he loves marrow. Yeah. Uh, Torga, are you still looking out the window? Uh, well, if there are things animating in here, I'm going to go smosh one and and I'll drag it towards the fire, but not put it in. Sure. Keep it nearby. Uh, Jeb Jeb's every... my meat shield. I gave him. Do we food. know anything other than burning them that will keep them from raising back up? Probably uh, consecration. We cut off their heads or. Uh, well, Thorgar took care of two of them, uh, cutting off one head and cutting from groin to neck. So, so are those they not... two are not going to reanimate. So we need to mutilate the bodies. Uh, cut the heads off. Just cut the heads off. Chop them into pieces. Anybody Drew's got an axe? going to love you, man. She's going to have no. soaked pantaloons. Anybody so got Jub an Jub, do you, do you prefer tartar or do you prefer it uh, <laughs> rare? You're muted. Muted. Sooner. In my mouth. 
Oh my god. All right, Tartar it is as I start cutting the heads <laughs> off. <laughs> yep. Huh. Uh one of the patrons will go ahead and stand guard at the door. I do have a set of chef's tools. Does that mean I can dice them up and make a nice bit of tartar? Sure. We're we also in a kitchen too. So yeah. there's, there's a <laughs> lot of options here for you. So as you guys gather the bodies and Bobby fillet them. Does anyone take issue with this? Uh, everybody's pretty much leaving you guys alone. The one halfling has retrieved his spear out of it. Out of actually, the wait, is the one torso? that was in a uh, cloth of the church still here? There, no, that yeah. was one of the ones that went to the door. Okay, just want to make sure. Mm-hmm. By the way, when I'm done with my business, I will go look out the d- window. Uh, there is a skeletal warrior atop a skeletal steed that seems to be harnessing some kind of malevolent, malevolent power, and more zombies have appeared. Can I break a window now? Bone marrow. Uh, persuade the owner. Persuasion. Wait. Even though my charisma is low, I, I still have a persuasion. Uh, uh, yeah, that's not that great. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> So when's um, Jubbyub going to start using the oil? That's a six. Here? He says, no, do not break my windows. They're very expensive. I know. I'm like, I want to freaking go out there and fight that thing. Uh, uh, Warhammer will Mist do nice One piton. <laughs> Mist is my friend, so I'm going to go over and I'm going to stare at the tavern owner with I assume a human arm, and then I just break open a window. <laughs> just to shake uh, a me and take a bite. Wow! Fair just enough. Didn't do staring it. Staring him dead Didn't in the eye. Do it. Didn't do it. <laughs> Give me an intimidation check. <laughs> do I get a bonus for eating a person? Will I do it? No. <laughs> he's in, intimidation. He's in, I was have no hair. <laughs> <laughs> not right. It's not right. Uh, 15. Minute. Good enough. He's not going to say anything because the window's already broken. Uh, skeletal arms are moving through it, and a dog barking is heard outside. Oh. Okay, can I step back and see zombies beyond the skeletal arms? Yes. I'll start putting arrows in zombies until uh, I can do something else. Give me two attacks. Well, if you clear out enough zombies, I can do, uh, do some damage. That's to that a 19, skeleton. which will be a 25, and a 13, which will be a 19. Are you attacking the same one? Because you ain't going to kill them. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Damage? Uh, well, I'll go with uh, 9 plus 8 is 17. Fair enough. 6 plus 4. As you start plugging away, keep in mind you're losing ammo. You aren't getting it back. I've got 40. (laughs) A loud howling is heard, and a zombie wolf jumps through the bars, but it's not tiny enough, and it peels back its skin, so it's only muscle and sinew. Everybody roll initiative. Oh, yeah. So it's one of the dogs from Resident Evil. Oh. Can I stick an arrow through its head? We'll see. I'm going last, oh. man. I got, a 20, I got a 21. That, 11. For people listening to the podcast, Torga gets a three. Did you say 17, Thorngar? Yes. Uh, okay, try and stab it in the head with the arrow. Uh, missed. I have 17, and I'm guessing that's an improvised weapon, so just 17. <laughs> yeah, that hits. I was just want to stick the arrow through its head and make it harder for it to pull its head out. Oh, it came through. Oh. It left its pelt hanging in there. Oh, that's fine. We'll so deal with it damage. that way. Because I had the arrow in hand. Me later. Uh, no strength bonus, so three points of damage. And then Thorn- I'll draw my short sword. Thorngar, you're up. I'm going to stab it. Or okay. I guess slash at it. Slash it. Uh, 24 to hit. Yep. Right on. Or 11 damage. Yeah, nice. Yeah. It is going to go yeah. after. Go after Thorngar. I 
do have a nice juicy bone in my head. <laughs> Nat 20, number three. Uh, what's your girlfriend's name? <laughs> Ducey? Ducey? Ducey has been bit. No! Oh, How damn. rude. Not he Ducey. Two he hit go- points of damage to Ducey. That on a Nat on- 20? On a Nat 20? It's a bite, man. Uh, I guess you rolled a Remember, one. I do not roll like you guys do. I give you the advantage. I, I do not uh, double double modifier. What's yeah, that I advantage on the next one. attack? No. <laughs> uh, next up is uh, Jub Jub. I will hit it with my club. Squish it. Uh, Squish it. Um. I don't give it a hug and then light it on fire. <laughs> and and Ducey. All right. It? That is going to, yes, 19 to hit. Yep. That is going to be seven points of damage. Uh, a loud, painful bark is heard. Torga. Oh, all okay. right. Everyone's gone? Yep. All right. So I'm going to go up and try to smash it. And roll a uh, 17. Yep, you'll kill it. It has two hit points left. So you tenderize uh, it for Jub Jub. Or no, it was attacking you, but uh, overshot and hit Ducey with that nat 20. No! So, uh, Ducey has a rather nasty looking wound. We throw her into the fire. <laughs> <sighs> Can't go from uh, first aid on her. Father her father is not going to be happy. What did what did you do, Thorngar? First aid on her medicine. Give me a medicine check. That is a uh, three. Oh no, I know. Sorry, wait. No, yeah, sorry. One, one, it's a minus one. One, not natural. Very nice. Uh, you decide we need to bleed her out to get rid of the toxin. Oh god! And you Apply slice- pressure. Apply pressure to the wound as it just oozes. <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, the blood is spurting uh, a great deal now that you've applied your Dr. How she feel Google about this? skills. Uh, she's not enamored with you anymore. <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, we'll go with Mist. What do you want to do? Well, no more targets in the room. Doggy dead. Doggy dead. Uh, <laughs> want to look out that window and see what's going on out there. A lot of zombies. Still got horsey dude out there? Yep. Damn. Does he have a head? Still oh, yeah. He's got a head. A skeletal is it on dude. fire? Not oh, yet. No, it, is, it is not on fire. It's not, it's not the uh, headless horseman. Well, I'm trying to figure out, is it the headless horseman? Is it Ghost Rider? I, I Riders on the storm. I can't conceive of using a sling from inside the end to hit him outside the end. Well, if it was a rider on the storm, maybe it could get through the door. At me. disadvantage, I could see. What the heck? I try it. I'll try and shoot a sling stone out the window and peg him. Sure, at disadvantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 16. That hits. And uh, what is that? A D4 for a sling stone? D4 mm-hmm. plus 4. Uh, 3 plus 4 is 7. Uh, yeah, that does some damage to him. Uh, everybody roll perception. I just wanted to get his attention. You got it. Uh, 18. Six. And missed. Uh, that'll be, uh, 14. Uh, I got the best one. How is that? Torga, missed, and Thorngar. You hear a door slam open that you did not notice before we asked about that it was covered by a curtain and it's not a door to the exit it's a door to the crapper a man in a gray robe with red piping and silver piping emerges sees his burning associates and decides he's going to cast sacred flame uh on whom I don't know yet. I'm going for a start as soon as, as I have a chance. It's going towards me, isn't it? 
He's going after Ducey. <laughs> yeah. What? That doesn't Over make out. her misery. Why? Not shitting you. Not one. <laughs> oh, no. oh, hopefully so is he going to self immolate? Ducey is covered in blue fire, screaming and yelling. Uh, Somebody kill her. <laughs> She's not doing good. Everybody roll initiative for cur- clearly the leader of the pack. Oh, that's better than roll last. Ooh, not 20. 16 20, 24. Well. Oh, 22. And 11. No, 23. Sorry. No, wait, 24. No, oh 25. God. Make up your mind, Jeb Jeb. 23. Yours. I can't uh, count. 11. Thorngar? Uh, 16. And okay. Nat 20 is on the attack rolls, please. Nat, tw- nat 20 is up first. The only okay. person who gets Nat 20s on attack rolls is Frank tonight. Or ones. <laughs> yeah. well, I've gotten a one. Beast and uh, famine. How far away is he? From my position by the window with the crapper is how far? He's in the far corner of uh, the room. It would be right across from the bar. So he is from the Within north. 60 feet? No. It's further than 60 feet? 80 feet. Right. That's the sling. Okay. Uh, 17 plus 6 yep. and I hate D4s. D4 plus 4. Uh, that's 4. 8 points of damage as my sling bullet bashes him. Uh, the 23 or 24, possibly the 25. Jub Jub. 27? 27. 23. Sure, we'll go 27. Oh, you go before me. Right here, 30, 30, 30, 30. 35. 31. Sold to the idiot that bid hey, this isn't critical role. Uh, so how far What is critical is role? From the fire, since I'm eating people. So gross, man. Have you I tried them fresh? your provisions. Job, job? 70. <laughs> yes, often. Very often. Um, There's one right there. I run up 30 feet, grab a chair, and I chuck it at him from across the room. Improvised right. weapons are good. <clears throat> All right. Uh, 19 on the... I'm keeping you. 19 on the die. Sure. Uh, so what do you want to call a throne chair from across the room? I believe uh, we always use D6 for the throne chair plus any strength. You. That is going to be eight damage. That's fair. <laughs> it is his turn. And I'm reading the spell. Which one? Spell. Hold person. Ah. Wisdom saving throw for whoever you cast it on, unless you upcast it. I'm upcast, and I'm going to get two of you. Damn it. Let's see. First one I'm going after. Deucey. Three. Jub jub. <laughs> Deucey. And Deucey. one missed. So Damn it. give me a wisdom save, gentlemen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. 16 on the die. <laughs> so what's there's, your total? there's no hold person that can hold your fat 15. <laughs> uh, his, his spell fails. Uh, move into the 16, which is Thorngar. <laughs> How close am I to the cultist? 80 feet. <clears throat> Is there a non-alcoholic beverage within reach? What was number one drinking? There's a non-flammable wine. liquid. There is a uh, half a glass of wine. I'm going to pour that on Ducey and then run towards the uh, cultist. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you going to set her on fire? She's Isn't she on fire still? Well, that's sacred flame. Different. That's different why he also has non-flammable liquid. Oh, he's trying to put her out. Yes. Oh, okay, trying, that's fair. Not trying to make it worse. I was like, oh, what is he Did taking he say, a fireball? He's going to be her hero again. No, he's not. <laughs> she, got, <laughs> she got bit by a zombie wolf. Uh, okay, that's, that's not fair. my fault. And you take <laughs> off running. Uh, you're going to have to dodge chairs and a table. What do you want, athletics? Uh, yes. Give me two rolls. Net 20. Nice. Yeah. Net 20. 
<laughs> wow, see? Stop your bitching that about mule on that twice. These aren't combat ones. These are just... <laughs> uh, you managed to duck, dodge, dive, and duck. Uh, 11, Torga, you're up. How many feet away again by the window? For you, 75. Lord, that's three moves. Uh, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll take a dash action and make my normal move for six. I only moved 25 feet, so that's 50 feet closer. Okay. Uh, top of the order, Nat 21st. Uh, I, I've taken out my bow and now strung an arrow. Okay. Um, that's uh, 17. It's. Um, four is uh, eight points of damage. Sure. I don't see any reason to move. Nope. Jub Jub, you're up. Okay. Uh, 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 I continue moving and I grab the next chair and chuck it at the cultist. Go ahead. Uh, 17 on the die. Hits. Uh, so. And another eight damage. I love you. You're better than any dog dice poop Aww. dice I've ever rolled. <laughs> that ain't going to get you more dice. Uh, my turn. Just out of curiosity. Okay. Uh, my bonus action will be to cast Spiritual Weapon, and I will utilize that. Uh-oh. That's my attack. Deucey. It's going after Torga. Okay, it reaches 75 feet away. 14 plus 25 feet away. 17. She hit me exactly. How many points? Casting. Oh, God. What are my points? Two D eight. Oh well, don't know. Six and a two, eight. You rolled too well. Are you unconscious? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Time to throw her on the fire, boys. That did. Yeah. Get bare, barely. It's I'm like, I mean, job, it, job doesn't. Know if, it matter, if it matters, if it better be Nig one. Uh well. Give me your death save because we're up to you oh, now. Shit. Or wait, no, I'm sorry. Wait, wait. No, wait, not. Wait. I go I last. Say wait. Yeah, <laughs> sixteen. Thor Thorngar goes next. Uh, what kind of action is stabilized again? <laughs> you gonna a... use that fine medicine again? <laughs> sure. Medicine check DC fifteen. Well, the DC is ten, so. Fifteen. Fifteen. Thought it was ten 15. for Kylie. No, fifteen. Go ahead. You want to say her or Ducey? That's a one, 16. One of you will get lucky. Yes. <laughs> 16 Good for job. Torga. Oh, right. boom. Torga's stabilized. Uh, Torga, you do not have to roll a death save, but you are at zero. With my movement, I want to get as close as I can to the cultists. I'm not sure. Sure, you can, you can use the rest on your move. Uh, it brings us to the top of the order. Missed. Well, you know what I'm going to do. Is anybody within five feet of him yet? Pew, pew, pew. Not yet. Not yet. I was going there. Oh, doesn't matter. That's a natural 20. Nice. Um, 10 plus 4, 14 points of damage. Yikes. Arrows from afar. Jub, jub. Jub, jub is now able to reach the cultist <laughs> and smashes him with a flail with uh, 15 to hit 15 does hit alright you didn't fail me die uh, that is going to be 11 points of damage sadly the cult fanatic falls to his knees before falling on his face dead can I hit him one more time Sure. Boom. Just to make sure he stays dead. D20, anything but a one. Take his head off. 15 on the die. All right. Yep. You knock him down. Ah. 
So is he uh, in the point where he's not coming back? Yes, he has splattered his head all across the thing. Uh, More importantly, the wife and the bartender are very worried about their daughter, and no one's watching the kitchen, I assume. Yeah, did I douse her flames out? Yes, you doused her flames out. Yes, the kitchen is unattended. Thorngar, give me a perception check. Uh, that's going to be 16. Most zombies will ask for brains. Ducey is going to ask for sex. Sex. Sex zombie. Uh, sex. Uh, she is now a zombie. Get some, boy. I'm going to snap her neck. <laughs> well, you got to run back. <laughs> uh, go ahead and snap her neck by hitting her. That's a... Uh... Uh, 22. Yeah, that hits her. How much damage do you do? Mm, well, since I'm trying to snap her neck, it's going to be four for unarmed. That will be good enough to not decapitate her, but it will bring her down to zero again. Your lovely possible future past lover is dead again. Ah, uh, what do you mean lover? No, no. Uh, if you bring her over to the fire, you can warm her up for a little. Later. Well, I've got a better one than that, Jub Jub. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab a cast iron skillet from the kitchen. Jub Jub to, is in there going to town. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna get an arm from her. You know, what? I'm gonna get a rib from her. Grab a cast iron skillet, rub the rib on Jub Jub, and then go oh. sear it on the fire and feed it to him. Oh, Jub-Jub. gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Wow. Uh, dark? Oh, that is a little dark. Jub Jub doesn't even oh, no. go there. <laughs> oh, come on, Jub Jub. You know you want to have a nice sear on it. That's that's pretty dark for murder. She loved me. you. You sh- She should stay and with that's, you for at and least that's, so you move around. Humans. That's saying a lot that it's dark for murder hobo ink since uh, like is usually pretty dark. Miss Dead Torga, give me perception checks. Uh, I, I continuously stare at the inside of my eyelids. Oh, conscious. that's right. You're at zero. Yep. That's right. Uh, she stabilized. Yes, uh, I am. But that's zero still. How's the 13 do? <clears throat> uh, you don't hear anything from outside. I guess I'd better look out the window again. I'm not far away from it. All of the we have a healer here. Ground. No, you do not. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, what do we, I don't actually know what Aaron's class is besides Job Job. Should it uh, be able to tell, tell what my class was? Fighter or yeah. barbarian? Yeah. Fighter. I didn't and rage. Then, then mist is... Uh, that, that was my guess. In fact, uh, I, I was about rogue. to burn the friggin' second wind, but uh, I figured I could survive at seven hit points. Uh, mist, uh, all the zombies are on the ground, as is the skeleton and the warhorse. Not Ooh. moving. Well, Just like Torga. <laughs> What's it? So is does Jub Jub realize Torga is unconscious and not dead? I'm sorry, Jub Jub does not man. care. Jub Jub is in the kitchen. Jub Jub yeah. is grubbing. Yeah, you're not near me. <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to save you, Carol. Yeah, sure. <laughs> save me myself. <laughs> cooking and eating me, I'm sure. Yep. You said you wanted to eat me at the beginning of the night. That looked delicious. Now I think I understand yeah. which way <laughs> you I'll, meant that. I'll go over and, and sniff Torga and then tell everybody she'll live. She just needs to sleep it off. You got a mm. sprayer? No. Damn it. <laughs> no. It's already covered in puke. You might as well. well no. I, I, hey, I, we cleaned he her cleaned, up. Jub Jub cleaned me off. I'm going to go over and get that piss-soaked carpet that I put on Jub Jub earlier to put him out and put it over her so she has something to keep her from shock happening. Nice. Ugh. I already sprayed the carpet. so. Emodia is a wonderful thing. Uh, with that the, shock her awake? <laughs> with the undead threat uh, taken out of the picture by killing the Cult fanatic, you guys have successfully defended uh, Lysif's day at the Tower Tavern. Uh, how's, the, uh, left? how's the bar owner feel about his daughter turning into his bar zombie. owner and the and bar owner's wife and the other twin are not happy at all. 
with you, not because she got killed, but that you carved her up like a turkey. I want to go. Uh, that's I want to go, pers- I wanna go persuade them that at least if she must die, she will go on to make someone a tasty meal. Oh, at this that's advantage, not persuade man. me. Let's sing the that tale of a, Sweetie uh, Todd here. Fifteen persuade or sorry, wait, no, sorry, sixteen persuasion. They are not happy, however, since you guys are well healed and clearly a force to be reckoned with, they will not push the issue, but ask that you do not dismember her anymore so that they can bury her. I won't. I make no promises. That I Jeb eat Jeb one won't. of Ducey's rib and then I look over at the twin. How <laughs> tasty is the rib, though? Constitution check. My God, why? I didn't realize you were this much of a can. He is delicious. <laughs> Twenty-two. Oh Christ! She was sick, right? Good news is Rob's family is wondering if there's something wrong with him upstairs at this point in time. No, they know uh, full well. <laughs> There you go, folks. You have survived Lysif's day. Yay! Uh, Yay. <coughs> you will not be welcomed back. Let's go with final thoughts. Uh, Jub Jub, what'd you think? Uh, you know what? I did not eat as much as I usually do, so You're I'm feeling good when I check the scale later tonight. Uh, Big Mike, what'd you think? Uh, it was a good session. <laughs> I don't know well, how I me how I have the darkest moment, but okay. Yeah. <laughs> there were a You're lot. The one that I'm not the one to that's the rib out. You love me. I didn't eat. <laughs> I didn't no, eat you, her. That you was butchered and you cooked her. Knew, yeah. But you knew, giving it to Jub Jub, he would eat her. Yeah, that's to why be I did fair, Jub Jub didn't butcher anybody. He just ate. mutilating a corpse. Meanwhile, Wait, we all didn't most of us mutilate a corpse tonight. Yeah, Let's all, be of, you, all of you. I believe Mike's a quote we had was, to, "Hey, I have cooking utensils." <laughs> Carol, yeah. what'd you think? Oh my god, that was dark. It was a lot of fun, though. I, I really <laughs> did like the fact it was it was basically all in a tavern, and it felt very sandboxy. It took a while for the plot to get rolling, but. Because I was beginning to think, I'm like, is there a plot to this? Yeah, it, uh, I had it was to be great. clandestined about it. But, I really, uh, li- I really like the way that it, yeah, that the plot kind of just snuck in there, and we were basically doing our own thing at the beginning. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. It offered <laughs> the opportunity for a little bit of role play too. And yeah. Rob, finally, what'd you think? It was Rob's a lot of fun. second game, Ooh. and he's already oh, yeah. eaten people. <laughs> Or he's with a group of eaters. Well, yeah. you know, if I was hungry, it'd be a problem, but I've been eating candy all night, so it's all good. There you go. Um, uh, fantastic. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., the one shot edition. We've got another one shot next Saturday. <laughs> if you want to see it on the table, honestly, can you do worse than eating people? I, I, oh, I, don't, hey, I don't think hey, you can. I have a long history of eating people. On this you show. have two characters that are cannibals, man. Oh, those oh, are playing not a halfling. Two. At least two. One of them prefers to feed people to other people. So I thought. Wait, I thought Joff. I thought Joffrey Dim, Dimmer Dinner. Whatever. Joffrey Dimmer was Joffrey a cannibal. Dimmer. Yeah. yeah, he was a cannibal. So but you he preferred to feed people, not you eat. killed people, oh, you yeah. ate people, and Mike. Kicked a halfling into combat. Yeah, well, I, to- I tossed him. Yeah, I tossed him. No one was- if it was a gnome, I would have punted him into combat. Yes. And Carol was covered in puke. Uh, folks, Ew. follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit. Uh, join our Discord channel if you want to buy our cool stuff. Uh, the link's down there somewhere. Uh, if you want most to play importantly, with us. if you want to play with us or be I'll on lie, the show... But- uh, M- Why would Inc. you? Twitter or Gmail. Let us know. It's not worth it. Not worth Tuesday. it at all. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, one shot next Saturday again. Uh, 
the week after that, Kyle and I will be starting separate campaigns, one on Thursday, one on Saturday. So it's be too on the lookout for that. Uh, and of course, two weeks. Uh, of course, Pirate Dog Dice oh for God. dice that I didn't need to mess up Carol tonight. And of course, oddfishgames.com. If game stinks, get some adventure sense. And if you want to learn how to write, check out their shine system. For all of us here at Murder Elbow Inc., uh, I think we got the tri generational game tomorrow. And if you just want to listen to us without looking at our mugs, uh, tinyurl.com mhobo inc audio uh it's on podbean everybody thanks for joining us have a great weekend uh, see you later bye everyone so long, farewell la vida say good night i hate to go and I'm leave you this. all behind. You sound like Carol's boyfriend from the last oh, campaign. Oh. <laughs>